Hi everyone. I'm very excited to share InstaSD with you and show you what you can do with it. For the purposes of this video, I want to focus on three things that you can do with InstaSD today. The first is launching Comfy UI workflows from this list of curated workflows that we have prepared, uh, which are the best in class workflows for some of the most common things that people want to do with Stable Diffusion. We're talking things with, like uh, style transfer, headshot photography, upscaling, and a lot more. One of the most fun ones is face swap. Now for any of these workflows, you can click the learn more button to find the source where, where they were originally published. And if, if you want to launch them, you can just go ahead and add it to your instances. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, I have a face swap comfy UI workflow just for me. This instance is mine and I can go ahead and launch it with the click of a button. InstaSD is going to provision a very powerful GPU for me and it'll be ready to generate images in no time. InstaSD is going to download all the necessary models and all the necessary custom nodes. So by the time the Comfy UI uh, workflow comes up, I'm just ready to start generating images. And there you go. The workflow is up and ready for me to start generating images. I'm gonna drag one image into the input for the face and another into the input for the scene and click Q prompt. There we go. And just like that, I have turned myself into Superman. How cool is that? So that's the first thing that you can do with InstaSD, taking some of these curated workflows that we have prepared and launching them very quickly and having fun. Like I said before, everything you see here is mine, is my copy of this workflow. I can go ahead and start making changes, moving the nodes around, adding new nodes, uh, adding new models if I want. And when I'm done, I can just save the changes and everything will be ready for me for next time I wanna come back and play with this workflow. And in the meantime, if uh, I'm not using the workflow anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off so I'm not incurring any charges. There you go. So that's how easy it is to get set up and get going with some of these workflows that we have curated for you guys. But what if you found a workflow that you really like from somewhere on the web, or maybe you prepared it somewhere else and you wanna launch it on InstaSD uh, very quickly? Well, what you can do is click the new instance button and then click upload a workflow. Here, I'm going to drag in the JSON file from the workflow that I have in mind. And I'm going to give it a name and click next. Now some workflows will require models or LoRa's that we don't know about. So in this step, I'm going to tell InstaSD where to download the models from and where to place them in the Comfy UI installation. And click next. And there you go. My workflow is ready for me to launch and I'm gonna go ahead just like last time and launch it. And we'll skip to the good part. And there you go. This is a very nice in-paint workflow. It's ready for me to start generating images. So that's the second thing you can do with InstaSD is bring your own workflow that you have prepared somewhere else or found somewhere on the web and bring it into InstaSD and launch it and get going with it very easily. The third thing that I wanna show you guys is specifically for developers. So, so let's say that you are working on an application and you wanna use Stable Diffusion for, uh, as a service within your application as an API endpoint. Well, you can come to InstaSD and you can prepare your workflow exactly as you want it. And once you're done, you can just click this Save Changes button right here and now I'll show you if I go back to my instances, you'll see a new button here called Deploy as API. So if I go ahead and click that, InstaSD is going to prepare a new API endpoint that I can call from my application that will invoke my workflow. I don't have to worry about deployment, I won't have to worry about DevOps or scaling, none of that, it'll be ready to go. Now these API endpoints, do take a little bit of time to build. 
So I am going to show you what it looks like from this one that I have already ready to go. There, so over here I have the URL that I should call to generate images. I have a auth token that will go into my authorization header. And I have the JSON payload that I need to send where I can control all the inputs to my workflow. Now, if I want, I can actually even invoke the API right here through this form. This has all the inputs to my workflow right here. So I can just go ahead and click the try it out button and the request will be sent to the API just as it would be in your application. And there you go. We have a beautiful image. So that's how easy it is to get an API endpoint on InstaSD. Those are the three things I wanted to show you. You can launch one of the curated workflows that are the best in class for some of the most popular applications of, of Stable Diffusions. You can bring your own workflow and get going with them very rapidly. And you can launch an API endpoint and call it within your application for a custom workflow that you have prepared. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to see what you guys do with InstaSD.